Welcome to the video of Ort. Every grade school child learns about the miracle of the man, which is referenced in this week's Sedra. And there's an additional quality to the miracle which children particularly are interested in. And that is that, of course, whatever you wanted the man to taste like is precisely what it would taste like. The question is, what is the significance of this additional layer of the miracle of the man? Was it not sufficient for Hashem to provide good, nutritious food falling from the heavens that would keep people alive and vital? The Kehilas Moshe suggests that the man was actually a test, a barometer of the spiritual health and sensitivity of the people in the following way. There are two ways that a person can organize his life. One, in which the pursuit of material wealth and physical pleasures and delights is the central uh, organizing feature of the person's life and the person's life work. And then a little Torah, mitzvot, and chesed on the side to sort of round things out. On the other hand, a person can choose to make his life devoted, his primary focus in life, to Torah, to mitzvot, to chesed, and then the additional pursuit of material wealth and physical pleasures and delights to sort of round out his life experience. Two, diff two very different ways of going about life. And the Kilas Moshe suggests that this is exactly what the Mun tested. Because you could choose to, uh, the Mun to taste it any way you wanted it to. It could either be a piece of decadent chocolate cake, or it could be a piece of uh, bread and salt. Which is not to say that those are the only two things that a person can choose. But to the extent that Kalal Yisrael chose the bread and salt versus the decadent cho chocolate cake, showed a distinction and a difference of their priorities uh, in life in general. We don't have Mun today, but we certainly have the same uh, choices and the same challenges. How are we going to organize our lives? God gives us the Mun in all different ways. We now have to de determine the taste that it's going to have. Good Shabbos.